Eight feet on the sand, I already have some in my crack. <laughs> it's, it's like a magnet, it really is. <laughs> All right, hey, look at this, everyone. It's our big beach show. Yes, it is. You know, I've found that every good TV show has a beach episode. Of course, most of them can afford to go to a real beach, but <laughs> it's cable. What yeah. can you do? Listen, it won't be any worse than when Fonzie jumped the shark tank on Happy Days. I guarantee you that. It's funny when you look back at those TV shows you watch as a kid and realize how unbelievably bad they were, isn't it? Years from now, you guys will realize what a piece of crap this show is. Yeah. Of course, uh... Thank you. Thank you for that round of applause about what a crappy show this is. Of course, uh, we'll be long gone and in the White House by then, right. Jimmy. So, Absolutely. whatever. You know, Gilligan's Island, a beach show, had some holes in it. That was the ultimate bad TV beach there. And it took me years to realize that Gilligan was gay. I, you know, <laughs> years. I'm not saying Bob Denver, the guy who played him, was gay, but Gilligan was definitely playing for the pink team. No question about it. Let me tell you what, if I was on that island, if I had that ginger and Marianne, it would be, oh, it would be very different. Oh, yes. Would you stop looking at that silly totem pole and look at me for a minute? Okay. you a coconut cream pie. Mm. <laughs> oh! Oh! Buddy? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Little buddy! Ah! Yeah. Uh, another triumph. Yeah, man. that's right. Maybe <laughs> I got a little carried away with the skipper there. <laughs>
sand we poured all over the stage. It's the Man Show Beach Show. Yes, it is. But unlike the gang over on MTV, we're not just at the beach dicking around. In fact, we're not even really at the beach. But let's pretend we are and show you some new inventions designed to make this summer your best summer ever. We call these beach ovations. Thank you. And I, I think you'll agree, nothing looks gayer than rubbing sunblock on your buddy's back. I mean, look at these two. They might as well have their tongues down each other's throats. Yeah. There's nothing pretty about that. But now you can avoid burning and flaming, too, with this. This is the I'm Not Gay sunscreen stick. Look at this. Here's how it works. You just dip it in the sunscreen and roll it on from a safe, a safe heterosexual distance. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let me get one. But, uh, there we go. That's real nice. That looks like me on a long weekend in high school. It really does. <laughs> Next, how many times has this happened to you? Uh, you're lying on the beach with your woman when suddenly a tough guy comes up and kicks sand in your face. Oh, a hundred? Probably double that if you're a cartoon. Look at that bastard. I tell you, it's just not right. But now you'll have the last laugh with this. The bully trap. Just bury it next to your blanket and... Oh, oh, oh. Bully be gone. That's a shame. It, uh, it also... It, it also... It also works real good with the ice cream guy. Yeah. I think you may hit artery there. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> we got well, what about safety? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> when, I'm, uh, when I'm at the beach, safety is my number one concern. That's why I never swim without a flotation device. But why settle for a regular old raft? <laughs> why not get one you can have sex with? Yes, it's our blow-up doll raft. Lay on it. Give it mouth to mouth, or just bang the bejesus out of it. Yeah. Nice. Nice work. Oh. 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 There you go. There you go, little fella. All right. And now some advancements in beach fashion. I have two problems at the beach. Number one, it's usually legal to drink beer. And number two, when my nuts get wet, they shrink down to the size of garbanzo beans. But this little item addresses both those concerns. Take a look at this. It is the Boda bathing suit. Yeah. Yes. Makes my genitals appear larger and holds 36 ounces of delicious beer. spot like warm leathery beer <laughs> it's like having a micro brew in your crotch right? Jimmy. yes it is all right next up let's say you're an attractive woman and you've headed to the beach with another attractive woman yeah. but you've only got room in your bag for one bikini we've all had that problem right oh yeah, yeah. well problem solved with this the bikini built for two Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think if I, if I got a run and start, we could get three in there, ladies. I really do. <laughs> Thirsty juggies? There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, you know, they say thanks to TV, kids today have no imagination. Well, our last beach ovation says that's simply not true. Take a look at this. Our bond is modeling this. Fellas, this is the imaginary swimsuit. Let's have a look at it.
Oh, Kevin, here come some girls. Remember what I told you to do? <gasps> How you doing, ladies? <sighs> All right, let's go get a pizza. the best time of the year. Summer could kick fall and winter's ass put together. Yeah. E even if they both had knives and summer had a bad wrist, could still take them. Absolutely. So since it's summer and we're lucky enough to live in California, we got a car, we loaded it with juggies, and we hit the beach. This is how it went. Roasted midget, that is the smell of summer to me. <laughs> Juggies, hang two! time that's happened. Oh, I mean, I really, I'd, be, I'd be a rich man by now. I really would. <laughs> All right. It is our beat show, and it's time for uh, the Q&A portion of our program. 
And um, this has nothing really to do with the beach, but what the hell, let's do it anyway. Clint Tuttle, where are you? Clint Tuttle from San Diego. Hey, Clint. Clint says, my girlfriend complains about me scratching my balls in my sleep. What can I, what can I do to let her know it's normal? What? A lot of guys concerned about being normal. Yeah. And yet, what? you don't what? look so normal. What a surprise, yeah. That a guy dresses uh, this dapperly would uh, scratch his nuts <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the night. Yes. And I, I had this uh, same problem, too. I, I'll tell you how I cured it. I got one of those big lampshade dog collars, and I put it around, <laughs> put around my waist like Judy Jetson, you know? <laughs> Eventually, I gnawed through it and got to it, but it lasted a couple of weeks. It slowed him down a little, yeah. so you might want to try that. Um, Ray Herrera. Where's Ray Herrera? Ray? All right. Hey, Ray asks, how do I get free porn from my hotel room? You know, I used to have this figured out because the hotels all used to have the same deal. And you just basically you take the cable out of the box, that box they have, and you go right into the TV. Then you take a universal remote and check the high channels. But nowadays, they're very, it's very complex now. They, yeah. they're, sta they're staying one step ahead of my penis. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I pack my own porn just in case there's a disaster. Yeah. Or if the plane goes down on some island yeah. or something. You never know. That's the way you want to go out. So yeah. you probably should pack your own porn, but keep watching the show. Don't worry. I'll catch up with their technology. Right. right? Kevin Martin. Kevin asks, uh, what would you recommend to keep from getting beach sand in undesirable places? Uh, th this is an easy one. Siliconized caulk. You just, you just work it into every orifice. Yeah. Crack, nostrils, ears, urethra, yeah. wherever sand may get in. Um, Ray McConnell asks, uh, my dog keeps licking his ass. How do I get him to stop licking his ass? Siliconized call. Yeah. That'll, <laughs> that'll do it for that, too. Where is Nathan Brooks? Nathan. Oh, Nathan. They did ask, how can you tell if they are real? Really? You have trouble with that? You do? No, no problem at all. You, you know if they're real or not? How do, do I, you tell if they're real? If they hurt when they hit you in the side of the head? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're overthinking it, is what you're doing. Yeah, if you can't tell, who cares? If they exist, they're real. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. Our final question is from a guy named Martin from Ventura. Where is Martin? Martin? Martin has, um, Martin has like a kind of a strange question. Uh, it's why the hell do we wear clothes? <laughs> did, you, did you see Jimmy in the Boda bag? Okay, you see how disgusting that was? That's, That's why. why we wear right. clothes. All right. All right, everybody, let's raise our glasses and a toast, if you would. Zing a second.